About 30 years ago, I came to the door because I wanted to look at the organ. They offered me the job of scheduling, and so I ended up scheduling these concerts for the last 30 years. I still sometimes come in at a drop of a hat if someone gets sick and can't perform. It's free to attend, and there's free coffee, and uh, we always have a good time. It really was painful to stand up on March 11th of 2020 and tell the audience that we were going to be closing indefinitely and haven't scheduled anybody for 2021 until now. We're able to do 14 concerts between September 22nd and December 22nd where they will be live streamed online. The old church and its mission to provide a community center of music is so important and we're so glad we can be part of this future of Portland. The free concerts at noon are balanced by the evening concerts that happen here almost every night these days, or at least before COVID. These concerts rely on your donations, and since we don't have a tip jar right now and you're watching from home, if you can find it possible to send us a donation either using the link below or by mailing us a check even at the old church address we will be happy to receive them and they will help ensure the future of these concerts i'm very happy to promote the old church i i hope i can do it for many more years until i peter out or something i don't know i i have no plans to retire from this volunteer position so
Camille Saint-Saëns was racked with pains when people addressed him as Saint-Saëns. He held the human race to blame because it could not pronounce his name. So he turned with metronome and fife to glorify other forms of life. Be quiet, please, for here begins his salute to feathers furs and fins. is the king of beasts and husband of the lioness. Gazelles and things on which he feasts address him as your highness. There are those that admire that roar of his in the African jungles and belts, but I think that wherever the lion is, I'd rather be somewhere else.
The rooster is a roistering hoodlum. His battle cry is cock-a-doodlum. Hands in pockets, cap over eye, he whistles at pullets passing by. In the world of mules, there are no rules. My brow with leaves of myrtle. I know the tortoise is a turtle. Come, carve my name in stone immortal. I know the turtoise is a tortle. I know to my profound despair, I'd bet on one to beat a hare. I also know I'm now a pauper because of its tortly, turtly torpor. Are useful friends equipped with handles at both ends. They have a wrinkled moth-proof hide. Their teeth are upside down outside. If you think the elephant preposterous, you've probably never seen a rhinoceros.
The kangaroo can jump incredible. He has a jump because he is edible. I could not eat a kangaroo, but many fine Australians do. Those with cookbooks as well as boomerangs prefer him in tasty kangaroo meringues. Some fish are minnows, some are whales. People like dimples, fish like scales. Some fish are slim, some are round. They don't get cold, they don't get drowned. But every fishwife fears for her fish. What we call mermaids, they call merfish. Have you ever harked to the jackass wild, which scientists call the onager? It sounds like the laugh of an idiot child or a hepcat on a harmonager. But do not sneer at the jackass wild. 
there is method in his hee-haw, for with maidenly blush and accent mild, the Jenny ass answers, she-haw. <laughs> lead bohemian lives. They fail as husbands and as wives. Therefore, they cynically disparage everybody else's marriage. Puccini was Latin and Wagner Teutonic, and birds are incurably philharmonic. Suburban yards and rural vistas are filled with avian Andrew sisters. The skylark sings a rondelay, the crow sings the road to Mandalay, the nightingale sings a lullaby, and the seagull sings a gullaby. That's what shepherds listen to in Arcadia before somebody invented the radio.
Some claim that pianists and organists are human. Ha! And quote the case of Harry Truman. Saint-Saëns, on the other hand, considered them a scurvy band. Ape-like they are, he said, and simian, instead of normal men and women. At midnight in the museum hall, the fossils gathered for a ball. There were no drums or saxophones, but just the clatter of their bones. A rolling, rattling, carefree circus of mammoth polkas and mazurkas. Pterodactyls and brontosauruses sang ghostly prehistoric choruses. Amid the mastodonic wassail, I caught the eye of one small fossil. Cheer up, sad world, he said, and winked. It's kind of fun to be extinct.
The swan can swim while sitting down. For pure conceit, he takes the crown. He looks in the mirror over and over and claims to have never heard of Pavlova. Now we reach the grand finale, Animali Carnivali. Noises new to sea and land issue from the skillful band. All the piano strings contort their features, imitating crawly creatures. The organ pipes all look like mumps from blowing umpa, umpa, umps. In outdoing Barnum and Bailey and Ringling, Saint-Saëns has done a miraculous thing. (laughs) 